ESP Now is a wireless communication protocol developed by Aspressif that is used for communication between one to one or one to many devices directly without having any phone or router in between, which is made for all range of Aspressif boards. So that was the one liner introduction about ESP Now, and this video is dedicatedly made for all of those who want to get started with ESP Now as quick as possible, and that too in very simple and easy way possible. So let's start with this video after a sponsorship ad. This video is sponsored by LTM, which is a PCB designer software company. LTM has all the tools that you need to design a professional PCB with high productivity. And well, it is widely used in big electronic companies like Texas Instruments, Siemens, SIGET and many more for their PCB designs. It has advanced routing features real-time cost estimations and also you can design your own flexible PCBs using this software. So this is an all-in-one professional PCB designing software for all your needs. So go ahead and try your hands on with this software. A free trial version is waiting for you. Now click on the link mentioned in the description to get a free trial of LTM designer software. So let's start learning about ESP now by transferring the data from one ESP32 board to another and we do already have the example codes for that in our Arduino ID. So I'll open up the ESP now master and ESP now slave example code. Now the team did a really great job by writing this example code. They not only made the codes simpler but they also explained the working of the code on the top end to the comment section. Now before I start with the code, let me tell you that ESP Now protocol transfers data between devices based on their MAC addresses. Yes, we no longer need to type the Wi-Fi credentials like the SID and password of the devices. No, nothing at all. We just need to have the MAC address of the device and we are good to go to transfer the data. Now the team did a really great job here as well. They eliminated entering the MAC address manually inside the code. Now how they did that? <laughs> Let me guide you. So now I'll explain the example code both for master and slave module in ESP Now protocol. So starting with the master module, then we are first of all initializing the ESP Now protocol as a master, okay? And after that, we are setting it in a station mode that we did into the setup part of the code. Let me guide you with that. So yeah, here is the setup part of the code. So first of all, we are doing a, like making it into a station mode, and after that, we are initializing the ESP Now, okay? And after that, what we are doing is we are starting this like start scanning the ESP32 slave module. Now what they did here is as I told we do uh, no longer need to manually uh, uh, you know enter the MAC addresses so how, how these devices are taking the MAC addresses so what they are doing is they first of all scanning the nearby Wi-Fi networks and those networks whose uh, SID name starts with slave is considered inside the ESP now protocol and they are fetching their MAC addresses okay so as it is written here as it is it will start scanning for the slave ESP32 so we have added a prefix slave to the SID for slave uh, for an easy setup so this they did this particular thing for an easy setup so that we you know, no longer need to enter the MAC addresses okay and once uh, they found the nearby uh, slave uh, what you can say ESP32 uh, it will uh, save it as a peer so peer can be considered as a paired device so it will be considered like they will be pairing that slave uh, with the master module okay so once it is paired they will be start uh, uh, starting with the data transfer okay after that uh, they are registering for the send callback so there will be a uh, callback function so here is that callback function called as ESP now register send so this will be callback function uh, called every time you need to send the data okay and after that uh, start transferring the data from master to the slave and that will be done using the send data function so that was a simple explanation a step-by-step -step explanation of the master code and same into the slave side what we are doing is we are first of all initializing the ESP now which is done somewhere here into the setup module uh, setup part so yeah here is that setup part and here we are initializing the slave module uh, as ESP now after that we are updating the SID of slave with the prefix slave and as I told the slave uh, SID name should start with slave okay so here uh, inside this uh, particular what you can say configure device AP function uh, we are adding the slave underscore one name to the uh, SID name of our ESP board okay so by using that slave word it will be recognized under the ESP now communication okay so after doing that uh, set slave to the access point mode which is done in the setup part which is here and after that register for receive callback for data so receive callback is defined here esp now underscore receive callback okay 
and after that once data arrived print it on the serial monitor so once data arrived this uh, callback function will be called and we are just printing the data received from the master module so that was the simple explanation of both the master and the slave uh, code and one thing that they have missed is the channel now make sure that the channel of the master and slave module should match okay so the channel here is 3 i will change it to 0 and here inside the slave module as well i'll change the channel to 0 okay so now you no longer need to change any of the code you just need to upload the code onto the respective board so i'll upload this master module one of the esp32 board and upload the slave module into the other ESP32 board and let the seeds respond in serial monitor. So as you can see, we are able to receive the data onto the slave side sent directly by the master module. So yeah, the example code works perfectly fine. Now ESP now has a couple of more advantages claimed by Espressive that includes low power and long range. It's low power just because the protocol uses less of CPU and less flash memory and not only that, it also uh, what you can say neglect the five layers of OSI model and convert onto one single layer. So due to these all things we get a very low power when we use this uh, ESP now protocol. Now talking about the range then of course we won't be getting those kilometers of range that we are getting in the LoRa but yeah talking about Wi-Fi uh, and talking specifically about this protocol then eSpressive claim that it will work great indoors even if there are a couple of walls in between okay so let's just not directly believe it let's just test it out so first we tested the range in the outdoors and in the line of sight we got around 150 meters of range which was pretty good and when we tested it indoors between the floors then it was working till the first floor and it stopped working when we tried to move above first floor. So the conclusion is it worked great in LOS and on the same or the above floor. So after testing the range we are now left with the one last thing which is the real time response. So Espressive claim that transferring data between devices in the ESP now protocol takes only a couple of milliseconds but here in our case even if I remove the delay in between I am getting the data on the slave module after a couple of seconds so why is it so? Well, it's just because the logic used inside the example code includes scanning nearby Wi-Fi networks and fetching their MAC addresses and after that it will start uh, sending the data. So scanning the networks and fetching their MAC addresses do take a little bit of time. So to make it a more real-time, more quick, responsive, what I did here is I removed this Wi-Fi scan logic and return the code to write actual MAC addresses so that it can directly send the data to a specific ESP device. Now here one question arises, how we can get the MAC address? Well, we do have the example code for that as well. So you just need to upload this example code onto the slave module and on the serial monitor, you'll be getting the MAC address of that module. You just need to copy that and you need to paste that MAC address inside the master module code according to this manner. Now after writing the MAC address, I also changed the payload here and now I am sending the status of boot button to the slave module. And here on the slave side, I modified the code to change the status of built-in LED based on the data received from the master side. Now after doing those changes, I uploaded the code onto the respected boards and now as you can see, I am able to control the LED on the slave module by using the boot button on the master module and this is happening in real time without any delay. So yeah, it's pretty fast, pretty quick and pretty easy to use. Now moving ahead, so till now we are able to send only one single data to the slave module but what if we need to send the multiple data, for example, what if we need to send the uh, census data like the DHT11 census data which can give us the data of temperature and humidity separately. Well, let me guide you how you can send the multiple data. So here's the code for that and the major change that we did here is we have defined a structure. Now you can think about the structure like a group of data with similar or different data types. So here we have created two variables, one for temperature and other for humidity. And after that, we have defined a variable for the structure with the name sensor. And in the loop, we are reading the data of temperature and humidity and storing it inside the sensor.temp and sensor.hum variable. In the end, we are sending the whole structure in the payload which will be sent directly to the slave module. Now one thing that you need to be careful about is you need to create the exact same structure on the receiver side as well and here in the receiver callback function we can print the data by using the dot operator. For temperature it is sensor.temp 
and for humidity, it is sensor.hum. Now, after uploading the code on the respective boards, as you can see, we are getting the sensors reading on the slave side, and this is how you can send the multiple data between the devices. Now, here is one limitation. So, using ESP now protocol, you'll be only able to send the data up to 250 bytes. So, that's the data transfer limitation in this protocol. But 250 bytes seems okay if we want to send the census data and like the data to turn on and off the appliances. So this will be uh, pretty good for these all applications. Now, as we are talking about the applications of ESP now protocol, then the first thought which came in my mind is to make a home automation project in which I will have. A, a remote based on the ESP32 board and using that remote I'll be able to control the appliances of my home or maybe studio by using that same ESP remote using the ESP now protocol so that can be one of the application of this protocol another application can be like uh, getting the sensors reading of a uh, different different room okay so we can attach different sensors in different room and all the ESP32 devices will send data to one central ESP32 device on which we may have a screen to you know monitor those data is coming from the different rooms and this project will use the many to one communication of the ESP now protocol and the possibilities are endless do share your thoughts about the projects that can be made using the ESP now protocol and me and my team will definitely try to make that project just for you guys and we'll upload its tutorial video on our channel and also we are left with two-way communication one to many communication and many to one communication of the ESP now protocol and if you are interested in learning this well, you just need to do one simple thing which is to click the like button and comment below this video your these simple efforts will motivate us to do more and more just for you guys so yeah that was all about our getting started video with esp now as simple as possible and as quick as possible i hope you got to learn something new from this video and i hope now you're comfortable enough to get started with esp now that being said i'm sending this video here and now just Wait for my next video to explore, learn, share with me, Techie SMS.